Hey, welcome back everyone. If this is your first time visiting the channel, you're going to find a lot of home projects, home DIY videos, uh, how to's, really uh, things that uh, a lot of the common homeowners can, can accomplish. You're not going to find me doing some ridiculous projects where you need some stupid skills that no one has. So uh, there's going to be a lot of uh, video here for for you, I'm sure. So I'd appreciate it if you would subscribe to the channel after you've uh, looked through a few of them and realized that yes indeed some of these do will help you so uh, with that said this particular video is going to be about smart plugs you may have seen these things before I'm going to be uh, uh, doing a little bit of a, a review but also um, uh, discussing what what the optimal uh, way to use them is for um, I've purchased quite a few of them weeks ago and was trying them out and kind of tested them and and came to some conclusions and I've narrowed it down to three that I'll talk about in a few minutes. I'm also going to do some additional smart type of videos. I'm going to do uh, smart switches and some other types of things that um, that I think you know as as technology continues, I'll be revising my my opinions. So although I might create some additional videos on the topics, my uh, recommendations likely will change over time. So even though I might be talking about something in the video. I might change the link down below in the description or the first pinned comment to match what I now think is something that's, uh, I guess, a recommended item. So um, you can you can look for that. And if you do happen to be looking to purchase uh, one of the one of the plugs, I would appreciate it if you would use the link below because it does help the channel. I have to purchase all these things to do these these videos, and it does help me. So thanks very much. So what I'm going to do now is I'm going to move into the. Uh, the living room in a minute, or the, excuse me, the dining room on the table, or I can lay these things out. But I just want to describe for you what I think uh, the best or the optimal uh, place for these for these plugs is um, is really anywhere that you're going to need a, a timer, where you currently have a timer, or you think you need a light on a timer is the first thing, and then the second thing would be any light where you believe you might need to control it remotely without actually uh, turning the light on with either with a you know a switch or a plug or however however you you turn your lights on so those are the two main reasons to do it and I'm focusing on on plugs that do not require a hub because at this point our phones are our hub and that's how I believe it'll be in the future too so I'm focusing on hubless options here Okay, so now I'm here in the uh, at the dining room table. It's just uh, easier for me to uh, to show you what I have uh, in front of me, and uh, I've narrowed it down, like I said, to three different smart plugs. And uh, you know, the thing is, is that a lot of this technology is very similar, very close. It's not like you can go necessarily wrong choosing uh, one or the other. Some of it just comes down to a little bit of functional functionality, just minor differences but but then again you know price and also I found that the prices were very fairly similar as well all right so um, the first one here on the left is this is this uh, product called uh, power I P O W R U I okay and um, this one is uh, you know cost uh, $25 for a set of four all right and um, and when you get these products, they're going to come with uh, instructions where you have to download an app, and you have to sync it with the app, and then uh, from there you can control the plug. I'm going to get into apps in a little bit, so let me just set the, the app discussion aside for the moment. Okay. The second one is uh, is made by a company called Moku M O Moko M O K O, and um, the third one is Gosund, which you may have heard about, G-O-S-U-N-D. So the, this one here came as a single for $8, and you can buy it in a two-pack uh, for $16, all right? And, and the Gosund cost $26 for four. So you got 26 for four, one for eight, four for 25. This one is just uh, slightly better when it comes to pricing. And I'll, I'll get at the end. I'll tell you which one I thought um, I liked the best. So uh, 
the thing is is that when you when you get these products you, you really do need to read the instructions very carefully because uh, sometimes syncing could be just a little challenging so let me just show you here what I've got uh, I got another duplicate of uh, this one here and you'll see this uh, this button in the front on the top excuse me and it's got a, a light that will, will flash each instruction is slightly different although the one thing that's common about all of them is once you see the light flashing quickly then you can sync it with your app okay they all have something similar this one has the button on the side I have another one of these uh, go suns in my hand uh, it's got the button on the side all right and so the button is what flashes here on this one and over here you've got a little light that flashes on the top okay so uh, let's talk about uh, about the app all right I'm gonna open up my phone and uh, let's see if we can uh, get this thing going here so the first the first two when you um, wow look at that you can see this flashing in here look at, the first two uh, when it when it said to download the app it actually had me download the same app smart life app so they, the first two, the Power, Power, Power UI, however you pronounce that, and, and the Moco are utilizing or ask you to utilize the Smart Life app. And the GoSund product, when you download their app, it's got one specific for GoSund. However, when you, when you look at it, and as I was downloading the second one, I realized this is actually really the same app for the most part with a couple of minor differences but it's kind of laid out the same way it's almost as if uh, it's the same company that that produced both apps it's really really similar okay not only that but I uh, but I also found out that um, that and I, I tested this that you could you could use one of these uh, go sun plugs and, and sync it with the smart life app and and quite honestly that's what I've decided to do I've done that and because I just prefer this particular app just a little bit better all right and it's opening up right now you can see so far what I have here is a bedroom and a living room and this mini smart plug I have connected to this lamp that's right over here to my left that I'll show you in a moment but you know that's that's connected to this one here or uh, one similar to this okay so the, the, the good part that I like about this is, let's say with bedroom, and the reason why I, I put one of these on, the bed, on a bedroom lamp is because one of the lamps is just um, a little bit out of reach. If you're kind of falling asleep and you don't want to get up out of bed and turn the lamp off, you've got your phone next to you, you can, you can do that that way, right? But, um, you know, essentially, though, you can open it up you can turn it on, you can turn it off. Right now you can power it on. And you've also got the timer, all right? You can set a timer, you can add a timer. You can choose, you, let's say you wanna turn it on at um, maybe 8 p.m., okay? And then you can choose to repeat it. You can choose the number of days of the week you want. You can repeat it whenever you want, okay? And then, so you set that, that particular schedule to power on, you save it. And then let's say you also want to um, have it shut off at 11 p.m. every night. You can change that. You can add a new schedule to turn off at 11 p.m. And you can choose the, to repeat it certain days of the week if you want. Okay, and then you, you, you change this to power off. Make sure the camera's catching that. Okay. Save. And that's it. Okay, so let's just show you how uh, one of these things works. And I've got, I just uh, took this uh, GoSund here, plugged it into a, uh, an extension cord just to put this little lamp on it. So I set, it's sunk into the uh, Smart Life app just says mini smart plug all I need to do is just hit this button to power it on and that's it 
off again. So it's really that simple. And, um, you know, I was amazed at how, how great that, that scheduling app is. Like I mentioned, the, the opportunity to schedule it was, it was really good, and I'm taking full advantage of that. Now, let's, ta let's talk about the, the technology this uses. I probably should have touched on that, quite honestly, before. You could, this works via Wi-Fi. Yeah, this, this is definitely something I should have put a little bit towards the beginning before talking about the plugs themselves. In my intro, I said, you don't need a hub. They work on Wi-Fi, okay? They work also on your, so if you don't have your Wi-Fi connected, you, they just work on your, on your data, on your cellular. Once they work, once you have it all, your schedule set, okay, if you're, you've got a timer situation, you can be completely out of range and not in, in Wi-Fi range or in cell range. You, I've, I tested this already too. Disable the phone completely. And then once the scheduled time came up, let's say that other one was, I've got one of the timers set at 7 p.m., then uh, it still works because your schedule is now in the cloud. So your phone can be sh powered off completely and, and everything will still work, okay? So the other thing is, is if you want to turn on one of these uh, plugs or lights and you don't have your phone with you, you don't have to uh, go find your phone to turn it on. All of these have this button. You just press the button and it can turn the phone, uh, the, the device, whatever's plugged in on and off that way. Okay. Uh, now, I do, I do not recommend plugging in things like um, a toaster oven or, you know, something that uses, draws a lot of power. I would, I would really suggest uh, just keeping it to things like lights and, you know, I don't know, I think even a, even a crock pot is, uh, you know, I'm not too sure what I think about that, let's just say, because I'm not positive as to the type of power that it draws. But, but um, I, I, would, I would also look at, you know, have, I've just finished another video that, I just bumped my camera. I just finished another video that you may have seen that talks about um, how to keep your house cool. And I, and I mentioned keeping all of your devices that constantly run or run a fan shut off, okay? So if you have a home office, you've got printers and monitors and things plugged in, maybe you could run your power strip off of one of these and then have it just come on at you know 8 a.m. and then off at 5 or whatever your hours are that you typically work at home. And that way you're not you know burning all that power and producing all that heat 24 hours a day. Same thing with you know, you might have an entertainment center and you've got your cable box and, you know, and your, your surround sound system, your, your receiver. All those things blow a lot of heat and it wouldn't be a bad idea to put the power strip that you have all those things plugged into, plugged into one of these. So that way you could essentially power it all off at once, even if you have it set to a timer to come on, you know, at one particular time. So the next thing I want to talk about is... Um, is the maneuverability or how these things fit. Okay, so um, the thing is with these, they're a little fat and you can't plug two of these in into the same outlet. There's no room, actually. It's too, it takes up too much room. GoSun makes uh, plugs that are narrow and wide where you can, you can, more like this, you can stack two of them like this way. I'm going to also link to those because I think um, although the technology is exactly the same, just the way it, it's laid out, being able to put two of them on the same outlet is kind of interesting to me. And I'm going to um, link to those down below as well. I'm also writing a full article on, um, on smart plugs and a blog post that I'll also link to if you're interested in reading that. But um, I think in the end... My recommendation is uh, to go with the uh, the GoSun plug here. I just felt like when I was when I was uh, trying to sync it with the app that this one was the easiest, and it it was syncing pretty much right away. Uh, these others were a little bit more challenging to get them to sync, to get the the light to blink the way it was supposed to blink, and actually sync with the phone. 
you know, one of them I was thinking to myself that do I have to call the manufacturer to get some additional instructions because it wasn't working properly? And then somehow or another, I was able to figure it out. And it wasn't, you know, as intuitive as you would think. So just from an ease of use standpoint, I think I would go with this, uh, with the GoSund. Um, the, all three of them can be used on that, on that same app that I talked about. Uh, the, um, pulling it up here again, the Smart Life app, the one on the left, okay? That's the app I would use instead of the, um, the GoSund app and just sync all of your devices into the Smart Life because Smart Life does provide you with the ability to add other things that are not necessarily plugs. So, you know, so basically you've got the ability to do lighting, home security, kitchen appliances, all kind of video surveillance. So you can kind of manage everything from this one app, which is why I think that's the, the app I would, I would select to use if you are. So even if you do buy something off of this panel here, something else, and it comes with its own, its own um, app, I would suggest first downloading the Smart Life app and then see if you could, you can auto find the, uh, the item that you've purchased to match up with it. Okay, and the pricing was fairly, fairly close. Okay, this one here was the most expensive. These two, like I said, 25 for four, 26 for four, but for the ease of use, you know, I'm okay for the extra, you know, 25 cents. And um, um, I, I already like, like what, what I have working in the house right now, powering the, the items on a timer. It's working well for me. Hopefully uh, this video worked well for you. I'd appreciate it if you would hit that subscribe and bell notification icon for future videos. And um, uh, please check back for the next one that I'm going to release in, uh, in the next few days. Thanks very much.